So when you get the lap book box, it comes like this. It has plastic wrap on the outside and then you open it up and you can see you have the instructor's guide and it'll pretty much show usually one item per page. And so it gives you the instructions of what material they have, what you're going to need that you would have like scissors and colored pencils and stuff. And then it gives you some directions on what you're going to do and where you're going to put it. And so you can see on the Bookshark website what all of the things are that they go through here, what they provide in the kit. And then here are all of the items that are covered in here. So again, this book is for American History 2, which for Bookshark is level E. So it's mostly kind of like um, Civil War and World War One, World War Two. You get some glue sticks and double stick tape and any other items that you need, uh, rivets or anything that you might need for something in the project. And then they will have all the packet um, items. So this is pretty much cardstock that has everything printed onto it that you're going to use to build the different items. Um, there's also this, I think it's called Duralar. It's like this clear um, paper that you use that you make the maps on. And then the actual folders are down below. And so you're assembling it. So you get the green folder and then you're going to put the different colored pages on here and then add on top of those. So this is what the boxes look like when they arrive to you. Okay, I wanted to share the lap books from Booksmart. This is the American History 1. So this is comparable to Bookshark's level D, but I don't think you would have to have the Bookshark curriculum in order to use this. I think if you're doing American History, these are a really nice resource, especially if your kids like to do things like color and cut and craft and all that. So this is from Exploration to 1850. And then the American History 2 is the second book for 1850 up to modern day. And so um, you open it up and you saw what they kind of look like before you put them together. But once they're put together, this is an idea of what the level one looks like. And so you can see there's a lot of um, 3D things, stuff comes out like the British Axe right here. And then you can open this up and this is a big thing that shows you the different acts that Britain imposed on us at the time. You have like the famous duel and in here they'll have writing um, War of 1812 and so you have different details. Something like this, Monarchy versus Republic, I'm pretty sure they had this where it's filled out like this or you could have a blank one where your student can write in all the details that they, that they want on here. Um, slavery in America and you have some important people. Plantation crops, this was kind of fun because they got to go, um, you know, grab a cotton ball and glue some cotton in here and stuff like that. So the pharmacopoeia is showing you the different things, they herbs and stuff that they would use for medicinal purposes. And then as you open this up, um, this one was really fun, covered wagon, what would you need to bring for supplies? And then these have different details. Um, you have some stuff on the newspapers. Erie Canal, and then like this has a little pop out. I think there was one version where it had information written in here or she wrote it in here. Uh, come visit this beautiful land. And so it's trying to entice people to come to America. Um, spy, uh, reasons that people explored and came out this way. And so then they put little um, items down here for that. Different types of soldiers and maybe um, what they would be wearing and stuff. And then... Um, as we open this binder up, let's scoot this over. Native stories, and so this is kind of like a little pouch, and then they have these different cards with different people for Native American history, important people in Native American history, and then they could go through and write some details about that. Uh, George versus George, so King George versus George Washington. The dock pocket was really fun because you have these tiny little versions of the Declaration of Independence, Bill of Rights, Mayflower Compact, the Constitution, and then a little packet of common sense. So it's a little, uh, the little common sense packet. The 
explorers are showing a bunch of the main explorers that kind of came to the area and then they could write in a little detail so you know place of birth why they explored where they came from who they explored for and what they were looking for and so they can write in those details on that as you open this up let me show you the map first and then um, well here yeah where in the world is the map section on all of these and so what this looks like is you'll have a number of different maps that they make over time okay so this is bad news in boston and where all the different things are happening um, that are going on so then they have these clear items where they're putting their things and they're coloring the map underneath so they have boston they have um, the routes for columbus and so there's actually four pieces on here that show the different routes at the different time which trip of his four trips growth of the U.S. and so it's just kind of showing the westward expansion and what states and territories and stuff are being added over time and I'm trying to think what else the other ones that we have in here are um oh the who owns different places at the time um the Mitchell map so they have a Mitchell map in here and then where the different explorers had gone during their time and then the last part on the upper area right here is uh, has navigational equipment, and that was really helpful when we were reading Carry On, Mr. Bowditch. And then we have the Lewis and Clark expedition, so this is kind of fun how this the little canoe pulls out and goes along the river, and then they can write in their details. So that is just an example of what it looks like when the lap book for History 1 is all completed and put together.